Hey, well, just as how physics has given you an intensive for all the questions that will come out in your O levels, chemistry will also come up with one video that will help you to solve your mole concept kind of question. I know that mole concept is a little bit difficult, but I came up with something that's simple, easy to digest, and very platable. So hope you will like it. Today we're going to go through mole concept. Under this topic of mole concept, usually there are three things that you're often asked to find: mass mole and volume of gas. Now what are the relationship? Well there are two big triangles that you're often asked to memorize. All right, One of them is if this is their RMM which represent relative molecular mass multiplied by the mole you will get the total mass. Another one is if you know that we all know that gas uh, occupied one mole of any gas is 24 dm cubed so if the mole multiplied by 24 you will get the total volume of gas so from here we can conclude something what can we conclude we can conclude that mole is directly proportional over here to the mass and your mole is also directly proportional to the volume of gas i can say that when mole increases mass increases when mole increases volume of gas also increases and if my mole decreases, the mass decreases. When mole decreases, volume of gas also decreases. So, this is their relationship. Now, uh, in many practices, I actually came out with three simple steps. So, in order to solve the question, of course, you have to use these two formula. I summarize using three steps to help you to solve the question more effectively and faster. So the first step is underline two things involved. Second, you write down mass, mole, or volume. That means you look at the question and you ask yourself, are they referring to the mass, the mole, or the volume? Lastly, you compare using first the equation. Then we compare using the given. And in a short while, I'm going to show you how I'm going to use this three step. Now, over at this portion here, straight away they ask you for this one is a more concept question, typical, and they have an equation given. They give you all the relative atomic masses and they ask you for the relative formula mass of this portion. Now, we already know that the relative formula mass is 204. Now, the main gist of it is that this part, part 2 and part 3. Now, let's go back to what I have shown you here, the three step. I say underline two things involved. This portion here say, calculate the mass of phialic needed to produce 1,000 gram of hydrogen gas. So, I go back to the equation, underline two things involved. Phialate and the 1,000 gram of hydrogen. That's step one. Step two, are they talking about the mass, the mole or the volume? Here say mass of phialic, so I write down mass. Produce 1,000 gram of hydrogen, I write down mass as well. So step 1, check. Step 2, check. Step 3, compare using equation. The equation here shows there are 3 moles of phialic used. Now 1 mole is your relative formula mass, which is 204. If it's 3 mole, I will use 3 times 204, 612. So I can write down 612 gram of Fe2 SiO4 will produce over here is two moles of h2 one mole of h2 is two gram two mole will be times two i get four gram if the question say 1000 gram of hydrogen i write down 1000 gram of hydrogen everything write down as per normal i say compare using given the, you are given 1,000, so this is the last step. I write, I write here 1,000 gram. And what is this unknown? I just need to use ratio proportion. Divide, multiply. 612 over 4 times 1,000. I get 1,000, 153 one, with a 3, 0 behind. I've solved for part 2. Now next coming up, they say calculate the volume of 1000 gram of, of hydrogen. Now we know that 1 mole of hydrogen is actually equivalent to the relative molecular mass, which is 2 gram. 
here gave you 1000 grams so this is 1000 gram all right so from here i can find the mole why do i need to find the mole because they are asking what for what volume if you can recall with me one mole of any gas is 24 dm cubed this is one mole 24 dm cubed so i need to know the mole before i can find the volume so right now let's quickly find the number of mole i use 1 over 2 times 1000 500 mole of h2 now if one mole is 24 so i write here one mole 24 dm cube if i have 500 mole that will give me 24 over 1 times 500 12,000 dm cube okay with that i solve for these two questions already next up same thing i go back to this method all right here says calculate the mass of magnesium needed to manufacture 10 kg of boron step one underline two things involved magnesium boron mass mole or volume they ask for mass so i write mass they ask for they gave you 10 kg of boron i write mass so very direct step three compare using equation from the equation i know it's three mole of magnesium one mole is 24 three mole will be three times 24 72 72 gram of mg will produce how much of boron one boron is 11 two boron will be 11 times 2 22. question gave you 10 kg this is gram step three remember after we use the equation we need to look for the given the given is 10 kg so i write down 10 plus another three zero behind gram of boron and the last part is just purely math 72 divided by 22 times a uh, 10,000 I get 3272727 gram Qua answer asks you for kg divided by a thousand 3650 32.7 kg that's it so this is how you're going to use this three step to solve your question Hey, thank you for watching the entire video. So next up, we will be preparing more kind, this kind of videos where you will help you to tackle the paper three kind of questions. So make sure you like the video and don't forget to subscribe.